These are most of the parts I use to make these 72 driver audio glasses. This is one of the assembled speaker sides of the glasses. This side contains 36 12mm speakers. This assembled audio module is equivalent to three times the surface area and therefore audio output of one of these fine 40 ohm 40mm bass drivers I took out of my neurophones. For the audio processing computations and DAC output, I use this Qualcomm CSR8645 programmable Bluetooth chip and this 2.1 watt times 2 channel fully differentiable stereo class D amplifier board to generously supply all 72 drivers with more than enough power. I also integrated a fully functional micro half inch 3 volt computer fan from DigiKey as an aesthetic touch mostly, although it does provide some cooling benefits to the components during intense high volume use. I used this circular 600 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery I pulled out of some old disposable vape and this 100 milliamp hour battery on the circuit board side of the glasses to act as a sort of capacitor to help reduce any power loss that may occur across the thin wires going through the frames of the glasses. This is just an example of the frames that I will be using. This is a detailed view of the inside and design intention of the speaker modules. Each speaker module has four layers with nine speakers in each layer. Since the glasses has two arms, this means two speaker modules total for one pair of glasses. The layers are composed of Baltic birch wood with the 12mm drivers glued in with super adhesive. Here is one of the 12mm drivers by itself. I took off the back venting sticker to help with airflow. In this shot, you can see that all four layers are assembled in this module. Here, you can see that two sets of layers assembled facing the speakers fire inwards towards each other to create a pressure wave that comes out of the slit. This module also has a unique back venting system that actually helps mechanically and acoustic pneumatically reduce some of the unwanted mid-bass, specifically anything from about 120 Hz to 350 Hz, and actually exaggerate and bring out some of the sub-bass. For this module, 37 Hz all the way down to 26 Hz. Here is a polarity check demo on the innermost assembled layer of a module. This shows exactly how the module was layered. This shot shows the internal computer and amplifier combo that I created to operate these absolutely ludicrous glasses. This combo is a three-dimensional micro stack of the 100 milliamp hour battery, the charger module board, the amplifier board, the Qualcomm computer chip, the three buttons, the dual channel three position switch, the six prong modified USB type C plug, and lastly, the five inch micro fan. In this shot, you can see that the chip was way too big to fit in this tiny microelectronic stack, so I had to grind it down on the sanding disc and complete a couple of the traces that were lost as a result of grinding the circuit board down super small. So there's no LED that turns on, like when you turn this thing on, but I'm okay with that. There's even a little microphone this fan does actually work. You can hear it. So 
so um yeah there's basically two modes so there's like these three buttons in the switch the switch can move in this position and it can also move in this position which runs a fan and then this let's talk about this uh, plug for a minute so this is a USB type C plug which usually only has four wires but me being me I like to hack things so I actually gave it six wires so it's got four in the middle for programming and then it's got a ground wire which is also needed for programming and it's got you know the positive wire for charging so I have to plug this in a certain way like I can't plug it in like this I actually have to plug it in this way in order to get it to even connect but for the most part this thing can be charged at least with any plug but there's a special one I'm making for this this is the special one that I'm making to program it This is the other side that houses the main battery used for the actual battery life of the glasses, which in this case is 15 hours on 70% volume. Here's a shot of the glasses arms functionally assembled. Here is a shot with the glasses functionally assembled. And finally, we have the glasses fully assembled after about five days of work working seven hours a day, not all together of course, and about $300 of components dumped into this crazy project. This is a view of my alpha programming setup during some early prototyping and brainstorming. There is a pair of glasses in this shot being used for equalizer programming that contains only 24 drivers. So sad. But what do these things actually look like on me? Yep, they're big.
They were actually surprisingly more comfortable than the Bose Frames Tenor, however. 